We used resolve for the about component. Let's use resolve for the about user component as well. And this will give us a chance to look at a couple different other things that resolve allows us to do. Let's go into my profile. And here we're grabbing this information, ng on init. So this is only loaded after our component gets created. Let's go change that out. So this is our about user component. Let's have a resolve here as well. And we'll pass in user and we'll do about user resolve. Let's import, and we don't have this yet, but we'll code with wishful thinking about user resolve dot service. Let's create that file, new file relative to current view, and we'll do about user resolve dot service dot ts. We could go ahead and copy everything from about resolve, but repetition makes us better developers. So let's go ahead and write all this out. Import injectable from the Angular core. We'll need to grab things from the router. We need resolve and activated route snapshot. We'll need the user. and the user service. We'll use the injectable decorator. This will be about user resolve, implements, resolve, and we'll pass back a user inside of there. The constructor is going to have private service and this is the user service and the resolve of the route activated route snapshot let username equal route dot params username just like we did in the about user component Return this.service.getUser. We'll pass in the username there. Now, the reason I broke this out is we're going to talk about uh, one of the cool things that Resolve can do for us. We'll do if user, return the user, else we're going to navigate the user back to the about page. Now this is one of the cool things that Resolve can do over the ng on init way is that we can navigate people away from this component before it even gets created. That way, if they don't hit a user that actually exists, we can just kick them back to the about page where they can click only valid users. While we could totally do this inside of our about user component, it doesn't really make sense to because that would complicate things in the component. Navigating a user away from something that doesn't exist is the router's job, and the resolve is part of what the router does. To navigate a person away, we're going to import the router from the Angular router. And we'll do private router is the router. This.router.navigate, and we'll pass them back to the about page. Return false. So we could easily do all of this code inside of our about user component, but it actually cleans that up a lot to do it out here. Let's grab that. We'll go into the about module. Do the same thing. About user resolve from about user resolve. Let's remove that S here. Add a comma, and we are good to start using that inside of the about routing, which we already did earlier. Perfect. The last thing we need to do, go into about user component and make sure that we use that in here instead of actually going out and using the service to grab that information. We needed the activated route, which we already have here in the constructor. We'll do this.route.data.foreach data, this.user is equal to data.user. 
And just like before, let's give some type hinting. And now that we're using the router and resolve to give us the data, we don't need the service anymore. We'll delete that there, delete that there. Let's simplify this even further. We'll delete that and clean that up as well. Now with one line, the cool thing about this is we can navigate people away. And there's no router navigation inside of here if there's an error. Let's take a look at our app. About page, works. User page, works like it did before. Let's do a random user that doesn't exist. And we get kicked back to the about page like we expected. If you're asking which should I use, ng on init or resolve, if you need to find a way to navigate a user away from a certain component, if you want to do some checks first, resolve is a really great way to do it. All of the checks happen before the component even gets created. Resolve is a really powerful tool, and the Angular 2 router calls it a guard. A guard is something we can check before or after a component is created or we're trying to move away from a component. We'll talk about the other guards next when we start creating a dashboard section. In that section, we'll talk about authentication, and that's what some of the other guards can help us do is authenticate users and make sure they don't visit certain routes if they're not authenticated.